So guys, this is our USB to TTL device. You can see that and that over here is a PIC16 FA77A. Wirings are as shown in the presentation. You can see that it is simply sending the data and the blue LED blinking, it means the data is being sent. The power LED is constantly on, then you have TX and RX. So TX LED means that PIC is sending the data and this is our computer USB extension port. And let me show you what we are receiving on the computer. And on the computer, let me connect it and we see what we get. So we are getting this because learning microcontrollers and the baud rate is 9600. Now see in the code, in the code here we have set the baud rate to 9600 and we are sending this text here using the UART TX idle command and then UART write text command. So this gives us this result what we are getting over there. Now here you can see that this is the simple uh, corrections, simple as that. So you can use this for the debugging of your codes and other stuff. It's a very useful device to be used in various projects. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how you can send strings from a PIC microcontroller to your PC or your laptop using a USB to TTL device. So this is a very useful technique whenever you want to send data from a microcontroller to a computer. The microcontroller we are gonna use is PIC16 FA77A. So let's get started. So guys, this is our USB to TTL device. I'm gonna use our FT232. You can use any USB to TTL device. There are various available in the market like CH340, FT232, CP1102. You can use any of those. All have three pins in common, TX, RX, and ground. These three pins are everywhere. Some devices may not have 3.3 volt option. Some may not have VCC option. Some may not have 5 volt option. But uh, to send data from a microcontroller to the PC, you will only need the, these three pins because PC will give 5 volt to the device. In case you want to give 5 volt to your PIC, then you simply disconnect this from the PC as well. But it's not possible because we are going to plug it in. So anyhow, let's get started. Let's, let me show you. Let me relabel the device for you. If you hold it like this, this is FT232 or a CS340 device. They both have exactly the same pin configuration. So let me label it for you. The topmost pin is a 5 volt. Then we have VCC. Then we have 3.3 volt. Then we have TX, RX and ground. So this is for the CH340 USB to TTL device. Now guys, this is our PIC16 FA77A. Now let's interface this device with a PIC. For that, you will need the TX and RX pin. These two pins represent that it's a UART protocol device, which means TTL. So uh, first of all, connect the ground pin of your USB to TTL device with the ground of the PIC like this. Then guys, for the RX pin, you will connect it to the pin number 25 of the PIC. That is a TX pin of the PIC. So TX pin of the PIC will go to the RX pin of the USB to TTL device. And similarly, for the TX pin of the USB to TTL device, connect it to the RX pin of the PIC. So TX pin of the USB to TTL device to the RX pin of the PIC, and RX pin of the USB to TTL device to the TX pin of the PIC. Like usually we do TX to RX and RX to TX, simple as that. In this way, our connections are completed. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this over here is the hardware. This is a USB port coming from my PC, and this is the FT232 or a CH340 USB TTL device, whichever you are using. You can see only the three wires are connected. That over there is a PIC16 FA77. The rest is just a trainer board. I have a lot of other stuff. But this is as shown in the presentation. Wirings are the same. So I will plug it in into this device over here. And it will be get connected to the PC. Now it's connected to the PC. See, it is not sending any data. Only the red LED is on. This, there is two more LEDs, TX and RX LEDs. This is the power LED which is on, this is TX and this is RX. Once the data is coming or receiving, these LEDs blink as well, like in case of Arduino Uno. So let's get to the micro C4 pick so we can move on to the programming. So guys, this is our micro C4 pick. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. You can see this is the version I'm using is 7.2.0. You can use the higher versions as well. Uh, uh, like 7.5.0 is available at this time. If you have any higher other version available, just use that. Latest versions are always better. Click on file, new, new project. This window pops up, new project wizard, click on next, write the name of the project. I write uh, USB, okay, pick to PC strings tutorial by LM, learning microcontrollers. And the path where you want to create the files, select the microcontroller you are going to use. I'm going to use a pick 16 available 7A, the crystal. The crystal connected to the pin number 13 or 14 of the pick. I have a 20 megahertz crystal over there. So simple as that. Click on next and finish. Now guys, this window pops up. Before you do anything else, first of all, save your work. For that, press Ctrl S. Press Ctrl S, the work is saved. 
Now expand, go to the right, expand the library, micro library, system library, go down. Here you have this UART library. You check mark this and then expand it. In that you have this UART1 INIT, double click on it. This window pops up and here in the example here you have this command UART1 INIT9600. Now guys you paste it here. Now this is the syntax of the command, it will initialize the UART module of your pick and this is the bonded. Whatever the bonded you want to set here, once you will turn on the serial monitor, you have to set that bonded. Like it's 9600 here, so that's fine, we use the 9600 bonded. Now give some initialization delay, not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. Like this, now we have our UART pins initialized, now we move on to the forever loop. Write down while one forever loop starts here and ends here. And inside it, go to the right again. In this library, you have US UART1 TX ideal. This command checks if your transmit, uh, transmitter buffer is ready to send the data. If it is ready to send the data, only then it will send the data. Just copy this line, paste it here like this and ending bracket. Now inside it, write down whatever the command you want to send. Now this means that it will check the TX buffer that either it is ready to send the data if it is ideal if it is ideal only then it will allow you to send the data now to send the data we will use this command uart write text because we are going to send our text this command uart one write is only for the char a single byte you can only send one byte using this command but this can send a text so we are going to send a string and a string means it's a text just in open double click on this command uart one write text and here you have this command only copy this command from here Okay, now go back, paste it in this in these brackets. And now this is the syntax of the command UART write text. And here is the text, whatever the text you want to send. I send learning microcontrollers. So this is the text which will appear on the screen. Simple as that. So before that, I give uh, so to make it look beautiful, I add four stars. And after that, I add four stars like this. And also give some space. So there will be space between two spaces between the next line. So this is what we are going to send on the screen. Now give some delays because the data transmission speed will be too fast that it will keep on repeating itself. We give some delay to slow down the code. So I give a delay of like one second. It will send one of this text, this complete text inside this double uh, semicolons after every one second. So let's build this code and see what happens. Okay, the code is built successfully, no error. So let's burn it. I open the Picket C programmer tool. Okay, I select the microcontroller, pick 16F877A. This over here, I click on file, import hex file, pick to pick strict tutorial, I click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. Let's get to the hardware and see what happens. See the file is being written, let it write. Okay, see the difference. No data is being sent, only red LED is on. Okay, I power up the circuit using Picket C programmer tool. Okay, see the blue LED has started to blink. Like it is sending a data after every one second, see. Now we go to the serial monitor and check what is the data we are receiving. So go back to your micro C, let me zoom in. So in the tools over here, expand it, you have this USART terminal. Click on it. This window pops up. Now you have to check when you will install the driver for your device like if you are using a CH340 or uh, FT232 whichever the device you will also install the respective driver then you have to go here and see which COM it was. It's a COM8 in my case and 9600 is the bonded we set here see. This is the bonded whatever the bonded you set here you will select here. Now this is 9600 bonded whichever the serial monitor you use you have to select the bonded and these are the defaults. Now click on connect ok it's connected. See, that data is coming from the PIC. So this PIC is sending this data to us. See that? So you can send any data like you can do the debugging, etc. Like in case of Arduino, there is a serial monitor. In PIC, you can make a serial monitor using this technique. And this is a very good technique. Like your programming pins are different. Like in case of Arduino, you have to disconnect the programming, uh, disconnect the any external hardware connected to the, your hardware UART, like pin number 0 and 1. Then you can uh, use a serial monitor. In this case, you can use a serial monitor because flash pins are different pins. We are using flash way of burning the microcontroller using Picket 3. So guys, this is simple as that. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. Thank you very much for your time and patience, guys. I will see you in the next video.